Hello and welcome to Infinity. One of the uh, very uh, popular and very useful ways of sharpening, although relatively new compared to the older Unsharp mask, is if I go to Live Filters down here and go up to High Pass. So Unsharp, the original, still has its value, High Pass. And what you get is a grey screen, which looks a little bit confusing. Until you turn up here, you only got one control, which is actually one of the attractions of it. It's You don't just need to wind this thing up. And as you turn this up here, the picture starts to appear. And it, uh, the more you turn it up, the more of the picture appear, the more colours of things and so on. But the general rule here is, first of all, zoom in, let's have a find a good edge to get to. As you turn up the radius, the more and more of this is going to appear there. If you've also got monochrome, I usually turn that on because that makes sure you're factory your your sharpening tones, you're not getting you know getting too much into the colour. And we literally go from nothing, and a good rule is actually to wait until it's just about appearing and then have a look around. So generally speaking, I very seldom go over one pixel here. And so just under so 0 0.9, something like that is usually pretty good. So if I look at all the rest of the picture, Control 0 to zoom out. I don't see so much there. You've got to zoom into it, but that's how the sharpening is going to be. You zoom into other edges and say, is this OK? We can change this afterwards. But what you do next is you go to the blend mode. And this is the trick here, is you go to here and you go to one of this set here, the contrast blends. So overlay uh, is a sort of moderate one. Soft light is the softest one you're going to get to. Hard light, you get a harder sharpening. Um, vivid light tends to be not so great. Linear light is the um, best one. Usually it's a, it's a strong, a very clear one. That's one I often use. Pin light, hard, hard mix you don't use. So by and large, I will generally default to linear light unless it's looking a bit too um, too crunchy or too bad. What I can do as well here now is I can open this here, turn the high pass on and off. So it's off and on. So you can see the, the effect is quite clear. I've got no edge effects happening around here, no halos and so on. It's nice and simple, so I often use this. You know, if I particularly want to do something quickly, it'll, it, it works. And then I can still, of course, play with the radius. I can turn it up and it will get to a point where it looks artificial and then you need to bring it down again. So you're looking here at both the edges. We've got dark to light and also within texture. Lower down, the texture has not changed so much. As you get up, the texture does change more and you get dark in amongst there. So let's control zero out here and see what happens at the outer level as well, because you also you want to look at it both in the detail and when it's zoomed out. So we'll go out here and see it. when you get too far out, up, up, or turn the radius right up, it just looks artificial and overdone. So generally below one is my rule for um, keeping it reasonably, you know, simple looking. However, let's go to another picture and we'll put on another live filters high pass here. I'm going to zoom in here. Can't see anything at the moment. Let's see what we get. I'll blend mode. I'll go to um, linear light again, but it's, it's also useful here, by the way, a tip is to um, try switching between the two. So we've got, got here, we're going right into the hair and watch as we turn the radius up, it becomes sharper because it's making, they see the grey areas in here and the light areas here. It's making the, the darker ones, dark things darker and the lighter ones lighter. Again, without any halos, you can go right up. You will get halos, but eventually but it's usually pretty good. So I come out here and now I can go before and after. That looks just fine at this level. Note here, I got the radius is 5.2, it's quite high. So sometimes you need a high radius. And so again, usually click the monochrome on and off. Bottom line is if you can't see a difference, don't worry, it, 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 it's not going to appear. So I do that as much by habit, to be honest, as anything. But you know, you know, look carefully. Does it make a difference? If it does, then decide. So there we go. That's the high pass filter.
uh, very useful and there's lots of other things you can do with it which we'll cover in other videos. So thank you very much for watching.